With the new Animal Crossing installment just barely over the horizon, <laughs> puns, at this point, anything related to the new adventure that awaits us in March fills me with glee. If you watched my September Direct Highlights video, then you know what I'm talking about. I've noticed though that this latest trailer has been receiving some flack. However, in my opinion, it was an excellent trailer. I'm the Geek Apprentice and maybe I'm just overly optimistic, but I genuinely enjoyed the Animal Crossing New Horizons trailer that we got in the September Direct which was released last week. Well, at the time of recording this video. Trust me, I know, most of the negative Nancys are either just trolls who don't have a life or pompous fans who can't get off their high horse long enough to realize that uh, Nintendo Directs aren't all about them and what they want. There are other gamers who enjoy other games. And any sensible gamer or Nintendo fan when watching a Direct will get excited when they see a game that maybe they don't necessarily like, but they know other gamers really enjoy. Cause guess what? It ain't all about you. Obviously now I'm referring to more than just the Animal Crossing trailer. Some people just seem to have nothing better to do than to trash Nintendo for catering to fans other than themselves. It's kind of pathetic. Getting all of that sass out of the way, why did I enjoy this Animal Crossing New Horizons trailer? Glad you asked. It was good marketing on their part. Yes, this trailer was a compilation of news and info that we found out in both the E3 Direct and the E3 Nintendo Treehouse. They flat out said that before they showed it. I, for one, am grateful that they put it all into one video. Think about it. Not every Animal Crossing fan may have seen the E3 Nintendo Direct. Thus, they didn't see that message right after the trailer, which said, hey, we're going to be talking about more in the treehouse. Hence, they didn't watch the treehouse and therefore did not get all the information that was old news to us when they showed it in this most recent Direct trailer. Some just wait for the trailer alone to drop on Nintendo's channel, either because they only genuinely care about Animal Crossing or they're just a casual fan. Nothing wrong with either. Hence, Nintendo creating this new trailer which stockpiles everything we learned in the E3 Nintendo Direct and Nintendo Treehouse ensures that those kinds of fans get the info as well. Yeah, old news to those of us who watch everything under the sun and am constantly looking for new information, but it's new and refreshing for those who maybe didn't even know what a E3 Nintendo Treehouse is. You know, people like my mom. Yeah, she'll watch a short little three minute trailer that gives a ton of info rather than some lengthy chatty explanation of gameplay Treehouse. So thank you Nintendo for thinking of everyone. I'm sure many would argue that it was just a ploy to make the direct that much longer, but honestly, who needs that kind of senseless pessimism in their life, am I right? I'm in no way saying that I wouldn't have liked to get more information about maybe stores, other big characters like Reese and Blathers, but you know what? No reason to throw a tantrum about it. Grow up, says the lady who makes videos talking about Animal Crossing and other geeky things. Also, speaking for quite specifically just me, I must have zoned out during the treehouse or something because there was a lot of information that was apparently already out there that would have answered some of the questions and concerns I had in my latest Animal Crossing video. Oops, speaking of showing new things, it did. No, I know, it didn't talk about any new features that we've yet to hear about, except we did see fish bait being a new thing. So that's cool. But if you watch one of the most recent videos about Animal Crossing from the YouTube channel Bitblock, you'll see what I mean. When you analyze this trailer, you see hints to little things such as confirming characters from old installments, but also some new things. Clothing, hairstyles, furniture, types of customization, bugs, flowers, and some new apps on the Nook phone that I'm sure we'll learn more about in an early 2020 Direct. I'll link Bitblock's video with just 50 of those new things in the description below. It's the little things, y'all. Take some joy in that. Be patient. We waited this long, haven't we? Look, it's obviously totally fine if your reaction after seeing this new trailer was... Oh man, no big new features or anything to talk about yet? 
Well, that stinks. That's okay. Just recognize it's not the end of the world. You'll live. I just personally really enjoy seeing anything Animal Crossing New Horizons related. Every time I see those new beautiful graphics, even just the wind blowing through the trees, the weather mechanics, I'm so excited. To my fellow Animal Crossing lovers, what are you most excited about for this new installment? How thrilled are you to get to that point where you will be spending, like me, 1,000 plus hours doing nothing but play this game? It's not like I have three jobs or anything. Who needs sleep? That's when the best and most pricey, valuable fish come out anyway. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, then maybe consider subscribing. I also play games on Twitch and post pictures on Instagram, so you can follow me there. Speaking of Instagram, here are the names of the people who either mostly got my hint correct or got it completely right, so congrats to them. Also, I want to take a moment right now to thank all of my patrons for their kindness and their support, such as Lorulian Sheep, Sushi Bandit, The Joking Batman, and cheap seats. God bless each of you. Y'all, I not only talk about Nintendo, but also Harry Potter, Disney, How to Train Your Dragon, and more, so maybe consider checking out some of these other videos of mine as well. But that's all for today. Thank you for watching.